Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Forward Line. I am back this week with the edit. This is our weekly roundup of new sewing pattern releases. Um, before I get going, a couple of things. First thing is thank you to everyone who came to the sewing weekend. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. Um, I'm sure many of you are still plugging through all the videos because there were so many of them. Um, and you got lots of sewing done because that was the aim of the weekend. Enjoy yourself, do a bit of sewing, shut the door on life and yeah, get crack on with some stuff. The other thing is if you haven't seen, which I'm sure all of you have, but just in case, the Sewing Bee is back this week, Wednesday, nine o'clock, BBC One. Very excited about it. We're all very excited about it. Um, we will be doing our usual pattern picks. So we watch the signature challenge and find all the patterns featured or try and find as many of them as possible. Um, so look out for that each week for the next, I think it's 10 weeks it's on for. Right, sewing patterns. I was gonna say that they're all really summary, but the first one actually is from Tasuti, who is based in Australia. And obviously they are now going into winter. So this pattern is quite, for them, quite wintry, actually perfect for us now and the British summer. So it's, it's called the Melbourne Trench Coat. It comes in sizes UK 8 to 18. So let's start with the line drawing for this one. You can see that it is, um, it's got the feel of a trench coat. It's quite relaxed fit. It almost feels a bit like a traditional men's Mac that buttons up the front. It's got a nice little collar. I like the high neck on it. Um, the really lovely detail for me is that there is this inverted box pleat on the back which makes it kind of a bit more roomy. There is also a pattern piece to make a hood as well so if you wanted to make it into a proper raincoat then you could. Um, there's lots and lots of nice details. I really like these the big sort of rounded pocket on the front and you could put so much stuff in these pockets that to me it was very very appealing but it's a classic to Suti pattern with it's kind of a classic a kind of twist on a classic with really lovely details and I think it's something that would be useful forever it's such a nice shape I really really love it I was excited when I saw it so next up we've got a really lovely simple pattern it is the Somar camisole from Paradise Patterns it comes in a size UK 4 to 34 I put this in because I just thought this was a really useful item for your wardrobe. It's got it's a, it's basically a very simple camisole strap top. It's made out of jersey. There are two different options for this, so you can either make it kind of slightly cropped or longer. And it's got this really nice kind of um, band detail around the neckline, so the kind of binding around the neckline and over the straps, which I feel, think looks really nice and it make, gives it a really sort of professional finish. Um, it's just a useful item for your wardrobe and it's got quite, it comes, it's cut quite low at the back as well, which I thought was really elegant. So it's a kind of very simple pattern, but it's got some nice details to it. So staying on the summer theme, um, Fit You has got a new um, swimsuit pattern. It's called the Sangria Swimsuit. It's available in sizes UK 4 to 22. I think this is a really interesting pattern. Um, if you are thinking it's summer, I would actually quite like this year to make myself a swimming costume. This one's definitely worth having a look at. So let's have a look at the line drawing so we can see what's going on. It um, looks... It's, got, it's quite a classic shaped swimsuit. It's got a kind of lowish back. It's got a little bow detail on the back. The thing that's really lovely is this wrap detail at the front of the swimsuit, which I think is really flattering on most body shapes. If you've got a smaller bust, that extra detailing is gonna make it a little bit bigger. But I think also it, it's got enough, if you have a bigger bust like myself, there's enough kind of, I can see the modesty of it. It's, it kind of covers a lot which is great I also thought I mean it's this is not at all um, designed for this but I thought it would actually be a really nice maternity swimsuit if you're pregnant um, the detail kind of I think it would look really nice um, if you're pregnant so it's just a really lovely pattern there's also an option to tie it around um, your neck at the back as well so if you didn't want this the straps attached so you can kind of there's quite a lot of things that you can do with it to make it your own and kind of 
twist it up and make it look different. So yeah, that is definitely worth going and having a look at. I really like this one. Next up, we've got a really interesting pattern from Juliana Martej. It's the Gigi Top. Um, I will add that um, anyone who has heard me talk about her in the past, all her patterns have been in video format. So you just got the video. It was filmed in German with English subtitles. Um, really well produced, but you didn't get written instructions. She has now changed that. So you get written instructions as well as the video, which is great. Um, I We had a look at them and they sort of should be used in line with each other, if you know what I mean. I think you would need to, the video as well as the written instructions to do it. So, But it's nice that she's being really adaptable and added that in because I think that's useful and lots of people like having instructions written down. So this is really interesting because it's this really sweet, let me show you the, actually, I'll show you the line drawing so you can see what's going on with the top. So it's kind of cropped, um, it's got a high neck, it, it comes, it's like a racer style at the front, then at the back it's got these lovely like crossover details, um, there are sewn channels where you push through the kind of strapping and then you tie it at the bottom. The thing that is really interesting for me about it is that it teaches you how to hand smock. So you can see that really gorgeous um, fabric that's on the front. That is created by hand smocking and they obviously show you how to do this. But I thought that would be a really lovely thing to make because you learn a different skill. I appreciate the sort of backless top is not for everyone. But I do actually think this would look really nice if you actually made the paradise pattern um, camisole, wore that underneath with this one over the top, I think they'd look really nice together. Um, but I thought that was a really interesting pattern and I think if you ever want to do um, hand smocking it's really, it's kind of very therapeutic. It takes a while but once you get into the sort of stitching of it it's really nice to do. So last but not least we've got three new quilting designers. Now a few people mentioned that they would prefer that I didn't talk about quilting patterns on here. I thought what I would do um, is put them at the end of the video when we get a new designer so that if you aren't interested in quilting at all, then you can just stop watching. But if you are there, I've got three new designers to talk to you about. So the first one is Rope and Anchor Trading Company. This is a British quilting company that have got um, eight patterns, sorry, seven patterns. These are really fun and quirky. So her sort of thing is a singular item so a skull a giraffe a moth so the one item takes up the whole blanket which i think is really interesting and makes such a big statement um there's some really fun designs as well i particularly love the kind of bug one which i'll show you which i think is really cute so they're worth going and having a look at if you are up for doing a bit of quilting the second one is um, Modern Handicraft Quilt. I really loved these. I think these are quite, um, this is American quilting company, um, much more traditional, um, but done in a modern way. So the shapes and the feel of them are quite traditional, but the fabrication is really interesting. So they're definitely worth going and having a look. There's some really cute designs on here. And the last but not least, which I think might be my favourite of all of the ones that have been added so far, is the pen and paper patterns. So this is another um, US based company. Her quilts are so incredible. They're really fun and whimsical and interesting and they're just so great. Um, let, I'm just going to show you a selection of the ones that you can buy. They're just really, really lovely, lovely patterns and they're the sort of quilt that I would really want to make. So yeah, I'm really excited to have these three new designers on the site. I think they're going to um, bring a lot of joy to everyone. It's nice to have a new sewing craft to get into. And yes, that is it from up this week. I will be back soon with another video. And if not, I will see you at the next video, which is the Sewing Bee one. So have a lovely, lovely rest of the weekend. Bye.